Imagine this. You're sitting in a dimly lit room, the only light coming from the glow of a computer monitor. The world outside is oblivious, but inside, something extraordinary is about to unfold. It's a regular Tuesday at Megacorp, a sprawling giant of a company that sells everything from quirky rubber chickens to high-tech rocket parts. The office buzzes with activity, employees tapping away at keyboards, unaware of the storm brewing beneath the surface. Megacorp's vast empire is powered by a colossal farm of Linux computers, machines chosen for their reputation of being stable and secure. Or at least, that's what everyone believes. The servers hum quietly, forming the backbone of the company's digital world. But in the shadows, far from the office lights, a hacker named Alex is on the hunt. Alex isn't looking for obvious mistakes on the website or in the company's apps. Instead, he's searching for something deeper. A tiny hidden flaw buried in the very heart of the system. The Linux kernel itself. After weeks of relentless probing, late nights and endless lines of code, Alex finally discovers a sliver of access. It's barely a whisper. Just enough to communicate with the kernel in a way no one else can. He crafts a small custom program, an exploit designed to take advantage of that forgotten crack. With a deep breath, he runs the script, heart pounding as he waits for a sign. For a moment, nothing happens. The silence is almost deafening, as if the entire digital world is holding its breath. Then suddenly, a new command prompt appears on the screen, the unmistakable hash symbol. In the world of Linux, that symbol means root access, total unrestricted control over the system. In that instant, Alex is no longer just a visitor. He's the master of the house, with the keys to every digital door in Megacorp. He can read confidential files, delete critical data, or silently watch every move across Megacorp's vast network. The company's secrets are now his to command. From that single compromised server, Alex leaps to others, installing hidden backdoors and quietly copying sensitive information. Each step takes him deeper into the company's digital vaults. He's invisible to security systems, a ghost in the machine. No alarms, no warnings, just silent infiltration. By the time the alarms finally blare and security scrambles to respond, it's already too late. The damage is done and the breach is complete. All of this chaos, all of this power started from a single overlooked flaw in the kernel, a tiny crack that no one thought to patch. This isn't just a story. Kernel exploits like this are real, and every day cybersecurity teams around the world fight to find and fix them before someone like Alex does. It's a stark reminder. In the digital world, even the smallest crack can topple the mightiest castle. No system is truly invincible. The lesson here is clear. Even the most trusted, battle-tested systems can be vulnerable. Complacency is the enemy of security. The kernel, the very core of every computer, is both the strongest shield and the greatest risk. It's the foundation everything else is built upon. For hackers, breaching the kernel is the ultimate prize, a gateway to unlimited power and access. For defenders, it's the last and most critical line of defense. Lose the kernel, and you lose everything. And for everyone else, it's a reason to care about what's running under the hood of your devices. The unseen layers matter more than you think. Because when the core falls, everything else follows. The dominoes topple, and the consequences ripple outwards. That's the power and the peril of the kernel. It's both the heart and the Achilles heel of modern computing. So, how does this all work? Let's pull back the curtain and see what really goes on behind the scenes. Welcome to the world of kernel exploits, a place where the stakes are high and the battles are fought in silence. Stay sharp. What you learn next could help defend your own digital kingdom. Let's dive in and uncover the secrets that keep our digital world safe, or put it at risk. Before we go further, a quick but important note. The knowledge here is powerful, used by cybersecurity pros to protect but dangerous in the wrong hands. Everything in this video is for education only. We're here to understand, not to break the law. Use this knowledge to defend, not attack. Ethical hacking is a real rewarding career, one the world needs more of. So be responsible, learn, protect, and maybe become a digital hero. Now disclaimer over, let's get to the good stuff. 
The more you know, the safer you are. Ready to demystify one of the most powerful hacks out there? Let's do this. Let's break down the Linux kernel and understand why it's so important to your computer. Imagine your computer as a vast kingdom. Apps are the citizens, hardware is the land they live on, and the kernel is the king, or maybe the prime minister, quietly running the show behind the scenes and making sure everything works together smoothly. The kernel is in charge of managing everything, your computer's memory, files, and all the hardware, from your keyboard to your network card. It's the ultimate traffic controller, making sure every part gets what it needs. For example, when you save a file, your app doesn't talk directly to the hard drive. Instead, it asks the kernel, which takes care of all the technical details, ensuring your data is stored safely and efficiently. The kernel also keeps apps from interfering with each other, making sure one program can't mess with another's data or resources. It's like a strict referee maintaining order and fairness. To do this, the kernel runs in its own protected area called kernel space, completely separate from user apps, which live in user space. This separation is crucial for security and stability. So if an app crashes or misbehaves, the kernel keeps the rest of the system running smoothly, preventing a single problem from taking down your whole computer. But if the kernel itself crashes, everything stops. The entire system goes down, which is why its stability is so critical. That's why the kernel is designed to be secure and isolated, protected from most threats and mistakes. The kernel is the most trusted and powerful part of your system, holding the keys to everything your computer does. But with great power comes great risk. If something goes wrong here, the consequences are huge. If someone manages to compromise the kernel, they gain total control over your computer, with access to all your files and data. That's why hackers are always looking for ways to attack the kernel. It's the ultimate prize. Let's dive deeper to see why it's such a tempting target. The kernel is the master key to the system. Hacking an app is like breaking into one house. Hacking the kernel is like owning the whole village. The Linux kernel is huge, millions of lines of code written by thousands. With that complexity, tiny mistakes are inevitable. A single overlooked bug can become a hidden doorway. Kernel exploits give attackers total control, bypassing all security, accessing any file, installing hidden software and stealing data. They can become invisible, making detection nearly impossible. That's why a working kernel exploit is a massive deal in cybersecurity. It's the ultimate prize for hackers. For defenders, it's the nightmare scenario. The stakes? Total system compromise. That's why the hunt for kernel bugs never stops. Next, let's see how privilege escalation works. It's the hacker's magic trick. Privilege escalation, turning basic access into total control. It's a critical concept in cybersecurity where the stakes are incredibly high. Imagine a music festival, regular wristbands for the crowd, VIP for special access, and an all-access pass for the organizer. Each level of access grants different privileges, just like in a computer system. Hackers start as regular users, but want the all-access pass, root. This is the ultimate goal, to gain unrestricted access to the system. They look for flaws in the system, especially in the kernel, which is the core part of the operating system. It's like searching for a hidden door in a fortress. With a crafted exploit, they send a weird request that confuses the kernel. This request is designed to manipulate the system's behavior. The kernel, tripped up by a bug, accidentally grants them root privileges. This is akin to a guard mistakenly opening the gates to an intruder. Suddenly, the hacker can do anything, read, write, delete, or install software. They have the keys to the kingdom, it's like tricking the librarian into handing over the master key. The hacker now has control over everything. Privilege escalation is the hacker's way in. It's their method of bypassing all security measures. Once root, it's game over for security. The system's defenses are effectively neutralized. That's why kernel bugs are so dangerous. They represent a significant vulnerability that can be exploited. The leap from user to root is the holy grail. It's the ultimate achievement for a hacker and it all starts with a single clever exploit. This is the spark that ignites the entire process. But how do hackers find these flaws? It's a meticulous process that requires skill and patience. Let's look at the art of vulnerability hunting. It's a blend of creativity and technical expertise. It's part science, 
part detective work. Each vulnerability is a puzzle waiting to be solved. Vulnerabilities don't appear by magic. They're discovered through skill and persistence. Researchers use fuzzing automated tools bombard the kernel with random data, hoping to trigger a crash. It's like stress testing a mug by smashing it in every way possible. Manual code auditing is another method, reading source code line by line, hunting for subtle mistakes. Once a bug is found, the challenge is turning it into a working exploit. Not every bug is useful, only those that can be controlled to gain power matter. Crafting a reliable exploit is what separates amateurs from elite hackers. It's a high-stakes game of cat and mouse, and the race to fix flaws never ends. Back to Alex, now with root access. First, he covers his tracks, erasing logs to hide the break-in. Next, he installs a root kit, a stealthy tool that hides his presence and ensures he can return. The system looks normal, but it's secretly under his control. The server becomes a zombie, part of a botnet or a launch pad for more attacks, most valuable of all, data theft. Customer info, credit cards, passwords, all silently stolen. The fallout for Megacorp, financial loss, reputation damage, legal trouble, all from one kernel exploit. When the core is compromised, everything is at risk. That's why kernel security is critical. It sounds scary, but you can protect yourself. The best defense? Keep your software updated. Updates patch the cracks before hackers can exploit them. Don't ignore update notifications. Install them promptly. Only download software from trusted sources. Avoid shady websites and unofficial app stores. Use strong, unique passwords and enable two-factor authentication. Be wary of suspicious emails or links. Phishing is still a common attack vector. Even the best exploit often needs you to make a mistake first. Good habits make you a hard target. Stay alert, stay updated, and you'll block most attacks. Security starts with you. We've seen how a single kernel flaw can give a hacker ultimate power. But understanding these threats is about empowerment, not fear. Knowledge is your best defense. Cybersecurity isn't just for experts. It's digital literacy for everyone. Stay curious, keep learning, and you'll be safer online. If this sparked your interest, explore more. Ethical hacking is a vital, rewarding field. The world needs defenders as much as builders. Technology is a tool. Use it wisely and help protect our digital future. Stay safe, stay smart, and maybe become one of the good guys. The power is yours. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Cyber Network for the latest in cybersecurity.